Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is me Mr. Asam Zidane and today we are going to explain the waves of electromagnetic spectrum. Actually guys, we have explained before uh, what is the electromagnetic wave and I told you that the electromagnetic wave consists of electric field and magnetic field both perpendicular on each other and perpendicular on the direction of propagation. Actually, direction of propagation means the direction of traveling of the wave. As you can see here in this drawing, okay, we show you that this is the magnetic field. As you can see here, this is the magnetic field and it just vibrate by this way. And this is the electric field which vibrate perpendicular and both are perpendicular on the direction of propagation. Or the direction of it traveling the wave and I told you that electromagnetic wave is a transfers wave because it's perpendicular on the direction of propagation so it's a transfers transverse wave transfers wave also I told you that the electromagnetic wave it has two sides so this electromagnetic wave okay it just we can just say this electromagnetic wave can act as a particle and this particle consists of photons so we can just say light or electromagnetic wave consists of particles very very small particles called uh, called photons or it acts as a wave and I told you the evidence because it just it's a particles because uh, in photoelectric cell the photons had the ability to hit the electrons and produces electric current and the evidence of it's a wave because it just can have the ability to uh, diffract reflect refract interfere and polarization or polarized we have explained this these points in the last session and today we are going to explain the waves of electromagnetic spectrum what are the components for this spectrum actually guys as you can see here the electromagnetic spectrum consists of seven types first it's radio wave microwave infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. And we are going to know what are the, the, the benefits for each one and the uses for each spectrum. But before we get involved in this, you have to know that. As you can see here, this is the all electromagnetic spectrum. So you can, I can just show you in this slide. So it's radio, micro, infra, visible light. If you just go in this direction, and you have to know this, if you go in this direction, so what happens? Any wave has three things. Number one, the velocity. What? So actually, the velocity is constant. The velocity is constant, so the velocity here is constant. What about the frequency? So actually when you move in this side, the frequency increases. So the frequency increases. Also, if you are moving in this side, the wavelength decreases. decreases or lambda decreases wavelength decreases what does it mean so this is lambda what does it mean it means if you are just moving in this direction okay so velocity for all of them are the same so the velocity of radio wave the same as the velocity of gamma rays at the same as the velocity of visible light all of them almost to travel by speed equal three 
3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So 300,000 kilometer per second. It's incredible speed. So all of them have the same speed. But as you can see here, the one which had the longest wavelength, the one which has a big lambda in the radio wave and the smallest lambda, as you can see here, it's gamma rays. And the one which has the smallest frequency is radio wave. And the one which has a greater frequency, okay, greater frequency. So this is gamma rays. Also about the energy because energy and frequency are related to each other. So actually, the energy here this one has a small energy but this one has big energy so actually guys okay so if i ask you which one had the largest wavelength so this is the radio wave which one has the smallest frequency so this is also radio wave which one has the smallest energy so radio wave at the same on the other hand gamma rays has the shortest wavelength and you can recognize this the wavelength this is the distance between the waves so here the wavelength so it's shorter so here this is the wavelength as you can see here so shorter than this wavelength the frequency never forget this so the frequency is the number of waves in second or per second. So here we have a lot of waves in certain time, but here we have less waves in certain time. So this is very important. If I ask, you have to just remember them uh, in order. Why? Because maybe I ask you which one has the, the smallest frequency. So it's radio wave or microwave or infrared. So the smallest frequency in this case between the three rays, I know if I move in this direction, okay, if you are moving in this direction, so the frequency increases. So the one which has a greater frequency, in this case between radio, micro, infrared and visible light, it will be the visible light had the greatest frequency. So this one has a big frequency, this one has a smaller frequency. Which one has a greater energy? Always, never forget this, always the frequency and the energy are related to each other. So the one which has a greater frequency has a greater energy. So in this case, visible light has a greater energy than radio wave so this is a question you have to answer by yourself if i say for example radio wave ultraviolet x-rays and gamma rays which one had the greatest energy so i know the energy in this direction increases okay so this is gamma rays so gamma rays had the greatest energy but the one which has the longest wavelength between these three rays or between these three spectrum ultraviolet x-rays and gamma rays so in this case the longest one or the longest wavelength will be for ultraviolet so the question may become by this way ask which one had the greatest and which one had the lowest uh, frequency or energy or wavelength so you have to remember them in order by this way radio micro infra visible ultraviolet x-rays and gamma rays after this we are going to discuss together okay what are these waves
in more details. First, we are going to speak about radio wave. So actually, guys, radio wave consists of it's one of the electromagnetic waves and we use it we use it in a broadcast in radio and television so what happens actually we send these waves okay so we send these waves which is radio wave has been sent as a wave then we receive this wave and convert it to electrical signal electrical electrical signal signals in our radio or tv then these electrical signals converts to sound and light converts to sound and images like in TV so what happens exactly we send we use radio wave in the stations to send the signals as uh, for the broadcast so we send this radio wave in the air then we receive it and we have a converter in our TV and radio to convert it to electrical signals and this electrical signals inside the radio and the TV converts to sound and images. Okay. Then we are going to discuss the microwaves. So actually microwave has less wavelength than the radio and has a greater energy than the radio and has a greater frequency than the radio as we explained before also we use this microwave all of us we know this or we have this device in at our homes which is microwaves ovens that we use it in cooking and heating food also we use microwave in cellular phones communication and in communication so your mobile use microwave so the signals in your mobile using microwave as you can see here in this in this picture and just to change the color okay guys so as you can see here so this is the microwave also one of the very important application for the microwave which is radar all of us know the radar and we use the radar to know the speed to know we use the radar okay to know the speed uh, to know the speed of, of uh, to know the speed of the cars and to determine the distance so we use radar to know two things this is radar we use it to to know the distance of the object where is the object location like an airplane or cars and to know the speed but the point is how can we know this how we can use the magnetic uh, the microwaves to know or to detect the distance of an object and the speed radar gun okay there is the here is the radar as you can see here in 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 this police car okay so here is the radar so the radar sent signals and these signals it's uh it, it it's microwave signals so this is micro microwave so it's microwave signals and we use these signals okay we send these signals towards the object so when the signals hit the object okay the signals hit the object and comes back again so we receive it the point here is we already studied together doubler effect in doubler effect okay if the object moves towards the observer 
يعني if here there is an observer there is man here it's observer and there is a car so this car produces certain frequency it has sound so to produce a certain frequency so actually when this car approach the object so the wave okay so the frequency of of the wave increases so actually when the car approach 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 an object so this object the frequency increases so here it has greater frequency but if the car is moving away from the observer okay so it just the frequency decreases and exactly this is what happens so if the car is moving towards the radar or in the direction of the radar source so its a frequency increases so this red one produces a frequency and their frequency actually increases so by calculating the difference between the two frequencies between the uh, between the incident and the reflected wave frequency so we can know uh, what is the distance uh, what is the speed of the car exactly so this is the point how can we know okay the 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 speed of any object by using radar by using waves we just send a wave so it's incident wave and when the wave is reflected okay and this object was moving so it reflects in different frequency so if the frequency if the car is coming towards towards the the, the observer or towards the radar so actually the frequency increases and due to uh, the difference between the two frequencies we can determine the speed so more speeding or more faster cars more difference in frequencies so the reflected one has more and the radar has uh, has a screen which just calculate this automatically and send the report to the police man also we can just know the distance of any object as we explained before in sonar so we just send there says the radar and this is the object so we send a wave so this wave takes certain time then it hit the object okay and comes back again so this one comes back again so there is a time between okay going this one and it's coming back so this time we can just calculate the distance if I know already the speed and the speed of these of all of these waves is the same and we know it's a speed so the distance in this case equal the velocity so the distance equal actually the velocity times time we know that distance equal velocity times time if I take the total time to just go and come back so I need the half time for this so I need the half time so it will be divided by 2 so this is how can we determine the distance between between the object and the radar so by this way we can determine using the microwave to determine the speed of the car by using doubler effect or by using distance equal velocity times time if we need to know the distance so actually this is the point about waves then we're going to use infrared so infrared actually it transmits heat from sun fires and radio radiators so any object or all the objects or heat object send or produces infrared infrared has infrared has thermal effect has thermal 
has thermal effect. Actually, what happens, we can use infrared to have something called thermogram. Thermogram, it's an image shows that shows regions of different temperature in different colors. So thermogram is an image that shows regions of different temperature in different colors. So as you can see here, so this is thermogram, thermo, thermogram. So it's an image show the objects different objects temperature in different colors so you can see this hand this is thermogram for this hand so as you can see here the difference in colors show that there is different in temperatures so these things or there is a different in temperature between this part as you can see here and this part also in elephant you can see the different in colors. So these different in colors, okay, shows the different in temperature between different parts of the elephant. Also, we have this one. Also, we use uh, infrared to see objects and to see animals in dark. Why? Because all the objects produces or emit or give off infrared. So actually infrared used, okay, to detect the objects in dark. In army, they use it. So this is the thermogram. So, so in infrared, also hot objects, all the hot objects, even us, okay, we as a human, we give infra or we emit infrared. So if there is someone here, and there is an animal and some animals had the ability to see infrared. So you can be seen in dark. You can be seen in dark. Why? Because, because some animals had the ability to see you by using infrared, not visible light. So more hotter object gives more infrared more hotter object gives more infrared so if you have two objects one is cold and the other one is hot let's do the hot one in red so this one is hotter than that one this is a and this is p okay so p is hotter than a this means this one gives more infra red but this one gives a less infrared or a smaller amount of infra also guys about the visible light uh, we explain radio micro infra and now with invisible light of course we use visible light it's a white light so this visible light consists of seven colors as you can see here it's red orange yellow green okay indigo and purple or violet so these are seven colors it's the rainbow colors so now if this if, if the light can disperse disperse means break out to to its components so this uh, white light consists of seven colors actually also here in in this prism if the light white light passes through the press it gives the seven colors so as I told you, the seven colors, red, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, and purple or violet. Actually, guys, this is the ultraviolet. So ultraviolet has a greater energy than visible and infrared, has shorter wavelength, has a greater frequency than the, the spectrum, uh, than the, the spectrum before or the waves before it, like visible and infrared. Also, ultraviolet rays uh, can kill living cell. And but there is a problem with this ultraviolet because it has a lot of energy. So too much exposure to uh, this 
uh, to this ultraviolet burns our skin. So if you stayed a lot in, 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 uh, for, in direct sun rays, so what happens just it burns your skin. And more or over time exposure, uh, it may cause cancer skin. So be careful of ultraviolet rays. But at the same time, ultraviolet has some benefits. It's useful. Okay, we need it in a small amount uh, to form vitamin D, which, uh, which is needed for healthy bones and teeth. So we use ultraviolet. So this ultraviolet is used or it gives, we have to expose. So for some ultraviolet rays, so this uh, form vitamin D, which is very useful for our bones and our teeth. So, but remember, too much exposure to it, to it, okay, it causes burn skin and skin cancer. Then we have x-rays. Of course, x-rays uh, has more energy and because it has a more energy so it has the ability to penetrate uh, a lot of uh, a lot of matters and a lot of objects so we use it to uh, know the broken bones or to just form image for bones and teeth as you can see here in in this picture okay so here for this one at this part Okay, this is X-ray image. So in this X-ray image, it just penetrate all uh, all the flesh and blood. So it just can't penetrate the bones. So the bones uh, just appear like shadow. Okay, so this one it's it has no problem. Okay, but this one is broken. So this one is healthy. So this one is broken, as you can see here in, in this part. Also here in this part, in this hand, okay, it show how the x-rays show where is the cracks or where is the broken parts. So why we use it? Because it has or had the ability to penetrate the objects. Also too much exposure to, uh, uh, to the x-rays causes cancer. Also, we use it to find uh, the cracks in steel and concrete. For example, if there is steel in, inside the concrete, so we can see it. So we can use the same image by the same idea. We just see the bones to know where the cracks in, where are the cracks in the steel. Last, it's gamma rays. It's very, very dangerous. It has the greatest and the highest energy. So this gamma rays has the highest energy and the highest frequency. So can you can recognize the frequency here. Okay, so it has a lot of waves in one second. So it has high frequency. Also, it has very short wavelength. So it's very short lambda. So it has short wavelength, small lambda. Okay, so it's used in medicine for killing cancer cells. Of course, when I'm talking about gamma rays, I'm, to I'm talking about a small amount. We can just use it in a small amount. So the most energy, it had the most energy penetrating uh, of uh, the most, of course, it had the most, uh, the, the, the most ability to just penetrate all, uh, all the objects because it has more energy. We use it also to, uh, to examine the body's, the body's internal instruction. So the vision can be injected by a fluid that emits gamma rays. So if there is a person here, so this person, if he has a problem and we need to examine the internal, so this one, he just, okay, drink uh, a fluid, okay, with gamma rays. So this fluid just emit gamma rays or gives gamma rays, which can form image of the inside of the body. Of course, this gamma rays penetrate the object. 
So when he just uh, drink this uh, fluid with a small amount of course of gamma rays. So here this gamma ray just penetrate. Now it's inside its body. Say this is the body for example. So it just penetrate the bones and the flesh and the blood and everything and just get out. When it get out, if you can receive it here by certain device, so this device form image. So form image. So this image used to know the internal instruction of the body. Okay. Uh, from where this gamma rays comes, actually it comes from space. As you can see here from stars, it's cosmetic rays and it comes from a nuclear reaction and from some radioactive substances. Uh, radioactive substances like uh, uranium, so some, some material just give energies and converts to another, another uh, type of materials uh, like uranium. But the most important thing or the, the, the thing you have to know is that the radio mag or the gamma rays just it comes from nuclear reactions, nuclear bombs, from space, from stars. Okay, so this about gamma rays. So guys, at the end, I'd like to just, okay, emphasize on the, the most important points here. Here, uh, the types of electromagnetic radiation. So the electromagnetic radiation consists of different, uh, different waves. It's radio, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet X-rays and gamma rays. Okay, as you can see here, the most, the one which had the most energy, the greatest frequency and the shortest wavelength is gamma rays and the one which has less energy and the lowest frequency and the longer wavelength is radio is radio wave and now we know the benefits and the uses of each one so i i hope you just understand our lesson today and when you just read it from your book I hope you just have a, a better understanding and you have the ability to answer the question. Thank you very much and see you soon, inshallah.